87 kilogram semi-final. Turkey A, Ali Chingiz, world bronze medalist from a year ago. 
I've always felt the more you watch Tursinov, and we've watched a lot of his matches over the past five, six years. Good job underneath by Chingiz. Here he comes again, second time up. Slowly straightening up, has Chingiz in a vulnerable position. And Chingiz able to pop right back up onto his feet, get the step out. So it should be two and one here, I think. And he's doing the same lift again. Oi. Chingiz will not roll over, though. He used his right elbow and arm beautifully. Now he turns, faces, watch out. Could be fireworks here, and there is. Chingiz caught him over on his back. To a four pointer. And now he has that head, and this is really tight. Ali Chingiz gets the fall in the first period. Wow. There is no leg foul in the last position, at least. So there was no leg foul and choose for Jenkins, and now he's in the final. Fresh off a European Championship silver medal back in April, a world bronze here in Belgrade last year. Big smile for Turkey. Eh? Semi-final clash at our ninth weight of the competition, 67 kilos. So strong, so dominant in standing position. Trying to hit that head throw near the edge, and I think Kyrgyzstan was able to do so as Maylov gets the one. Doing something all, all the time. Comes right back at his Maylov and drives him out of bounds, and he'll get the step out point. So... Good action here in the first minute, tied at one. And Ismailov, he uh, made two uh, reverse lifts today. Maybe I think it will be the move of the day. And I saw a step out again for Orta Sanchez. Easier said than done when wrestling a guy like Orta Sanchez. And again, just continuing to peck away and drives out his Maylov again. Yeah, really. i never seen him before, actually. Um, yeah, maybe one time in my career before the Olympic Games. And he just, he was there, Olympic champion. We didn't see him so much uh, the couple of years, and now he's back. They did not award that two. Apparently did not break 90. It looked like from our angle it did. Referee signaled two, but it got white paddled. So for the time being, it's five. Now he'll get his two. So it's seven to one. Final few moments of this first period. Does he have enough time for one more turn? Oy! He gets him over, but a time expired. Shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest, some hand fighting, little collar tie there. Now coming in, there's the quickness and power of wow. Orta Sanchez, and he is into the world finals tomorrow night. You knew his endurance and his energy would follow, and it certainly appears the strength yeah. and his power has as well. Talking a six kilo jump from when we saw him in Tokyo. Non-Olympic weight, 63 kilos. And we are underway. Larry Abuladze, 24 years old, Georgia. He comes out in the red. France with Stefan Selmo, the 27-year-old. And now we will see Abuladze maybe go down in the, in the Patel position. It's right now the claim he has to be the most dominant wrestler, or maybe take a takedown or a step out. Otherwise, he will go down. Neither wrestler has been able to get much on the feet. Going for the lift now. He has him airborne oh, and can't quite turn him over. Still oh, he, has it locked. Now he gets caught underneath. Abuladze catches that head of Klimo, and he is squeezing tight. The winner by Chibolov or Mamatov on the other mat. And right now we are seeing it will be Mavadom, Mamadov from Azerbaijan. But then again, he took a chance and he was down with the criteria, so it was the right decision. Right I think. decision, definitely. And that is going to be it. Into the finals tomorrow night goes Larry Abuladze. How was Abuladze able to capture that head? Um, you have to go a little bit backwards in this position just to get the lift up in the air. Um, and he will. Felt uh, forward, maybe out of balance.